In this quick video, I'd just like to take you through the overview of the main features of My Desktop Therapist. So when you first open the application, you'll arrive at this start page. At the top we have a list of the currently installed programs. As you can see, Change, Your, Change My Life will be the one that comes installed as default. You can then either purchase or create your own additional programs. To get started, you simply need to press the play button. You can pause a program at any time or stop. If you wish to mute any of the sounds, then simply select the mute button. Each program comes with an additional list of resources. If you click here, you will find the resources available to you. You can then simply view the resource or download the resource here. This is updated automatically from the web so it's worth checking in to see if there's any new resources on a regular basis. You'll also notice in the top right corner we have a quick help option. Now I'm going to move the application across and so you can see this open up. So if you click on here, quick help, you have a quick help section that opens up and gives you information about any of the options available on any given page that you're currently on. So when you change the page, the quick help section will also change to match it. In the bottom you can see that we have an online help and support desk. So you can just click down here and you'll be taken to the online help and support desk. To close the quick help, you simply click here or click here. And it'll close back down. Next, you will see we have the left hand menu. The start page is the one you're currently on. The programs list will take you to a list of the currently installed programs. It is from this list that you can uh, change the logo, rename a particular program, duplicate the program, edit a program, or remove one. You can see here I've already duplicated the Extreme Success program and called it ES Personal. You would want to duplicate a program if you wanted to make changes to a program while keeping a copy of the original. In the bottom right corner you have the option to create a program or install a new one. Normally you should be able to do this automatically but if you need to do a manual install this is where you'd go. Under settings we have a list of the different modules and the settings that are available to each. The flashing object module has a lot of variables. You can see you can alter the font, the style, the size, the color, uh, and the transparency to the text, as well as add a contrasting outline. This just simply helps make, say, for instance, black text have a white outline to make it stand out better on black backgrounds. The smooth fading option simply fades in a flashing object and then fades it out. This just helps it look a little smoother. You can choose where on the screen that the objects appear. You can choose in the center, which is the default, randomly, or choose a fixed location. You can choose to play the flashing objects in order or randomly. And you can decide how long they flash for and how often that they flash and the number of times that each line is repeated. Here you can see the version that you're currently running. Video, you can alter the level of transparency that a video is running at. Audios, you can alter the master volume and the session backing volume. This is the volume to any of the sessions that are running. In the sessions, we can alter where a session appears by choosing either in the center or the lower half of the screen. Under Preferences you can see we have Auto Start, which simply means that My Desktop Therapist will automatically start when you start your computer. And Check for Updates automatically checks for any updates to the programs that you're currently running. We can manually update in the Update section. As you can see, I'm fully up to date. In the bottom left we will have special offers or news updates that appear in the RSS feed. This will just keep you up to date on the My Desktop Therapist progress. 
you can see we have two options for closing down the application. If we minimize it here, then I'll bring the camera down. Once I bring the camera down, you can see that it appears here in the taskbar. If I open it back, if I close it from the X, it, you see it disappears. But the program has not stopped running. If I bring down the camera, you can see if I click here and open this up that the MDT icon is here and I just simply need to click this to open it back up. You can also come to the MDT icon and click the right mouse button to start, mute or pause a program that's currently running. If you remember in the program section we had a list of programs and either to create a new one or edit a program will take you through to a whole new section and this is where the real fun begins so I'll cover this in the next video